Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin faced questions and protesters during a visit to UCLA tonight. KTLA's John Fanolio live in Westwood with what all the shouting was about. John. Well, Sharon, Micah, this was the first member of President Trump's cabinet to visit UCLA, and here he was met with thoughtful, sometimes tough questions from students, and he got an earful from a few angry protesters. Several demonstrators protesting the Republican tax bill, forcibly removed from UCLA's Anderson School of Management. Less than a warm welcome for U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. Humanity first! America's chief financial officer discussing a range of topics, including economic development, national security, and jobs with marketplaces Kai Rizdal. Among his critical responsibilities, Mnuchin is charged with shaping U.S. financial policy. He's also President Trump's primary economic advisor, a point not lost on some in this room who quietly hissed at Mnuchin's remarks, which appeared to agitate him considerably. I understand that people have different views on things, but you don't have to be an a-hole about it. But not everyone felt that way. Senior Ryan Carr says he learned a lot from listening to the 77th Treasury Secretary. Well, I learned that they're looking for 3% GDP growth. Um, I learned also that the way that they're doing it is mainly corporate tax cuts and giving back to the middle class. And you know, I learned that the policy of the administration is to do what is right by America. Indeed, Mnuchin said that he fundamentally believes tax cuts will lead to higher wages for workers in the future. But most financial experts agree that the GOP tax overhaul benefits corporations and the rich by providing them with permanent tax cuts, while those for the middle class will expire in 2025. Pressed on the issue, Mnuchin, who lives in Bel Air, told the audience, I'm not getting a tax cut because I live in California. This tax reform is actually going to end up affecting blue states a lot more than it affects red states. And I think he admitted that on stage. Um, I think that he admitted that it was a an assault on the middle class and on California's middle class and on California as a state because it's a blue state. The Treasury Secretary was also asked about new Russia sanctions, which he is responsible uh, for overseeing. President Trump has yet to implement new Russian sanctions mandated by Congress. Today, Mnuchin said those new sanctions will be coming within the next 30 days. We're live at UCLA. I'm John Finolio. Share Micah, back to you. Okay, John, thank you.